Hi, in this video, we will see another application of row level security. Let's discuss this scenario first. I have an organization with many vendors and one of those vendors is the manager for every other vendor. So we have a data set where only one record or only one vendor is a manager and the other vendors are not managers. And we have the requirement that we need to apply row level security so that only the manager views all the records that is the record for himself and the record for other vendors and the other individual vendors if they log in they will be seeing only the records for their transactions. So let's see how we can implement this in Power BI. But before that, we need to know a couple of DAX functions. The first function that we need to know is the max function. It evaluates an expression for each row of a table and returns the largest numerical value. So you basically pass in a table and then as a second parameter, you pass in an expression. So that expression gets evaluated for each row of a table and the row and the value with the highest one will be returned. So you get a scalar value and not a table. The next is the filter function, which basically returns a table that returns, that basically represents a subset of another table. So here again, you have two parameters. The first parameter is the table and the second parameter is the filter condition. For example, I want to know everyone who has done a transaction which is greater than 50, I will just pass in the table as the first parameter and the second parameter will have a transaction amount greater than 50. So let's go to Power BI. So before we go ahead and implement the row level security for our scenario, we need to get the right data. Here in this data set, we do not have any record or any column that basically identifies any record as a manager. So what I will do is I will go and delete this data set. Just say delete. And then remove this visual. Let me have a new data set here. So go to home and just say enter data. In the create table window, I will just go and create the four columns. So the first column is an ID column. The second column is a name column. The third column is email and the fourth column, the one that I'm going to add now is ease manager. So this is the column that identifies every record, whether that record belongs to a manager or a normal vendor. I have the data copied with me, so I will just paste it. And for our data, we see that one then is the only one who is a manager and the other three are uh, normal vendors. So just give the name as vendor again and say load. Once the data loads successfully, let me go and visualize the data. So I will be having email, name, transaction amount and is manager field as well. Here, note that we are getting the same transaction amount for all the different vendors, which is obviously not correct, probably because we have different IDs. For example, in vendors table, we have ID and in transaction table, we have vendor ID. So let me go to the relationship tab and let me create the relationship between vendor ID from the transaction table to the ID column in vendors table. So once you create the relationship, make sure that it is one to many from vendors to transaction. And if you go to the report tab, you should see that the data gets updated successfully. So now let's go to modeling tab and create the role. So in the manage roles window, just say create role. And we are going to apply the role to the vendors table. So select the vendors. And within the DAX expression table filter, we need to write a DAX expression that will basically make use of the two DAX functions that we have learned in the slides. So note that here we need to show the data conditionally. If the logged in user is a manager, he needs to get all the records. If the logged in user is not a manager, he will see only the record for himself. 
So first, let us write an if condition for the individual vendors. Because for manager, it's very easy. You just check if the manager column is one. If it is one, you just return all the records. But before that, I want to correct one thing. Here, I am seeing the column name as sum of each manager, which is not really correct. So I will change that. So first, let me close this roles window and go into my value section and just say, don't summarize. So that will basically uh, put the column name back uh, as we wanted. So go into manage roles again. I will slightly pull it towards the right and just say create a role. And go into my vendors table and let me start writing the DAX expression. If you do not understand, just hold. I will write the expression first and I will explain it how exactly it works. So first, I need to check whether that individual record or the logged in user is a manager or not. Okay. So first, let me write if statement. Okay. And within the if statement, I'm going to use the max function. So max. And within the max function, I'm going to have the filter function. So first, I would like to write out this filter function and then come to max function and then come to if function. Okay. So first we need to filter for the records that belong to the individual user. Okay. So I will say filter off the table name is vendor. So you need to put that in a single quote. So just say vendors and this is the first parameter and this is the uh, table that we are passing in as the first parameter and for the vendors table I need to make sure if the logged in user email ID matches the email ID column within my table so again I will say vendors of email so vendors of email is nothing but user name okay So this will basically fetch the record only for that particular user. If I am Ravi, it will only fetch the records uh, for Ravi. Okay. So once I fetch the record for that particular user, I need to identify whether that user is a manager or not. So I can make use of the max function here. So end your filter function. So now you are outside the context of the filter function. So right now you are in a max function. And the max functions first parameter is is a table okay which is a filter table and to that table you are gonna apply an expression and the expression in our case is very simple so it is nothing but vendors of is manager and since i close the brackets right now i am in the context of the if function so together what these functions will do is first it will filter the record only for the logged in user and then probably the logged in user may have many records here we do not have many records so if the logged in user has many records it will return the highest value of each manager for that user if i am not a manager it will return zero if i am a manager it will return one so the first part, first parameter in a if condition is nothing but your expression, this entire thing. So this entire expression, I'm going to check if it is a zero. And if it is a zero, which means that the logged in user is not a manager, then I will go and return records only for that logged in user. So here comes my actual filter condition. Okay. So I will say vendors of email is nothing but the username okay so here comes your actual filter condition whereas if the maximum value of each manager is not zero then we need to return all the records so here is the true statement and after comma you need to write the false statement so the false statement is basically returning all the records so just say any statement or any expression that will return a true so i'm going to say one is equal to one so it will evaluate one is equal to one and it comes as true and it will go and return all the records and then you can close the if bracket so this is my dax expression so let me quickly uh, go over uh, what i have done 
first we are filtering the records only for the logged in user and we are checking the maximum value of is manager for the filtered records if it is zero it means that is not a manager then i am gonna rec return the records only belonging to him okay if he is a manager this will be false then i'm gonna return all the records so let me save it and if you do not get any error it means that the role has been created successfully and the dax function that we have wrote is indeed correct so let me go to my home tab and just say publish select the same workspace and I replace the data set which is in power bi service and once done let me navigate to power bi service once deployed in power bi service let me go to the data set section and go to security and let me add only two users one is karthik who is not a manager and the other one is a one, one then who is a manager okay so let me add them and save so let me go and test as role and since i am the logged in user it is showing the records only for me so i am not a manager and it is showing the record only for me so now let me go and view as karthik who is also not a manager and karthik will be seeing only his records so now let me go and view as one then who is a manager and you know that he is seeing all the records in summary, we have learned how to implement a row level security or rather a dynamic row level security with a manager level access. This is just one way of implementing and there are of course many other ways to implement the same scenario. In the next video, we will talk about managing row level security for many to many relationship. Thank you.